So you've just had blended vision. Blended vision can be in the form of laser vision correction. It can be in the form of lens-based surgery. So removing your human lens and implanting a new lens. So what is blended vision again? Let's recap that. Blended vision is where each eye is doing something slightly different, but the brain uses both eyes to perceive one image. It sounds rather simple, but in reality, there are a few phases that we need to go through to ensure that our brain gets to that point where the blended vision becomes accepted like our normal day-to-day -day vision. So remember, when you get blended vision, it means you're above 40, 45, 50. Why? Because we're presbyopic. Presbyopia is the loss of our near vision, the loss of our reading vision. Short arm syndrome. The muscles around the lens inside the eye and the lens itself start stiffening up a little bit. So they're no longer able to focus for near. That's why we find you solutions. When we talk about laser vision correction, we cannot correct for distance and for near on both eyes. The optics just don't work and the quality of vision is less than ideal. So we need to consider blended vision and blended vision is where your sensory dominant eye, so your brain's eye that wants good distance vision, is targeted for distance and intermediate vision which is about desktop vision range and then the second eye is targeted for intermediate and near. So the one eye is distance and computer, desktop, and the second eye is desktop and near. So there's an overlap in the middle, all right? But when we have both eyes open, the brain marries the two images so it sees from distance through intermediate to near. It sounds simple. However, there are four phases of adaptation for blended vision that you are going to go through. The first is, wow, suddenly I can read, and that's usually day one to week one after surgery. Suddenly I can see distance, which I couldn't do without my specs or my contact lenses. So the brain is so muddled at that stage that it's just happy it can see. The second phase that you go through is rivalry. And the rivalry is when you start doing your daily tasks and you realize, hmm, hang on, I'm sitting at my desktop or I'm sitting at my computer, but it's a bit blurred. Why? It's because the eye that is not set for the near work is still receiving impulses from your brain. Your brain is still telling it there's an image, right? So it's fighting. And the, same, the opposite happens for when you're doing your distance viewing. That's rivalry. And the rivalry phase can last as long as six weeks up to three months usually. The third phase that you go through is suppression. And the suppression phase is where your brain starts to realize, okay, my distance dominant eye, I don't need for the near vision, so I'm going to start switching off the wiring. It's like learning how to drive a car from first to second gear to third. Consciously, you've got to think, you're changing gears, what about the clutch and accelerator? But in the suppression phase, you're starting to slip from first to second gear, the clutch is in, your foot's off the accelerator, but you're not thinking about it. So the brain is starting to realize, I can switch off this eye for this distance. And that can last another two to three months, and then the, the, the last phase, or the fourth phase, is blend, the true blend, where you actually don't even realize what you're doing. So now you're driving a manual car, and you can watch the rest of the traffic, and you can concentrate on other objects in the road, and um, think about other things, and listen to music, but you're changing gears, and your mind's not actively thinking about it. And 99% of people are going to go through those four phases until they hit the blend phase and then are finally comfortable with their vision. Remember, whatever correction you're looking at after 45, 50 years of age, there's going to be compromise. But blended vision doesn't mean that the compromise isn't worth it. As a refractive surgeon, I've done thousands of cases of blended vision and 99% of these people end up at a place where they don't even know what the eyes are doing. The worst case you get to a point where you can't manage it and we reverse it. So you don't have to think that this is something permanent. Yes, laser vision correction is permanent, putting a lens in your eye is permanent, but if you can't tolerate some of those side effects, we can change that. So we'll sit down and discuss that. So remember the four phases, wow, second rivalry, third suppression and fourth blend. Next, we're going to talk to you about a couple of ways in which you can use brain training to help you shift from first to second gear.